Hello, Leo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot. For the support of Oracle Cards, I'm using the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. My dog just gave me a dirty look. I don't know what that's about. I think he wants to go outside. I will take him out after this video. I have a feeling you might hear him whine, though, because he gets very frustrated with me. <laughs> He's like, why camera? Why camera? Get attention, stupid camera. Um, so just in case you hear him, he'll be fine. I'll take him out right, out right after this video. Ooh, what's up with that? Oh, Leo's winning. You're going to win. I don't know what that means other than you got like the Ace of Cups showing up here at the end and somebody else has the Three of Swords, so somebody else might not like it, but you're going to make out on this pretty well. Um, it's kind of making me laugh because it's kind of like something about somebody trying to get you to do what they want and it's kind of like, well, then there's reality. Um, Healer of the Ages with the Sun card in the world is what's starting off this whole situation. Every now and then, Leo comes to this point where they're just like, enough is enough, we're changing the whole song. It's kind of like, yeah, I've, been, I've been playing the polka for years, I'm over that, let's get into some rap, let's get into some heavy metal, let's play some country. Like, they'll take a whole, they'll change their whole situation. Um, I feel like that's a Leo thing, you could tell me if I'm wrong, though. And it doesn't have to be, like, everything in life, but, like, for example, if a job, and you've just been doing it for the longest time, you're like, you know what? I've been in advertising for I don't know how many years. I'm done. I'm going to get into x-rays. That's reminding me of a friend who is not a Leo. But still, um, if you want to make a change, and sometimes it's with friendships too, kind of like, you know what? This has been a train wreck for too long. We're done with that. Going, going to create a whole new situation. Leo can do that. Like if you've decided like, uh, you know what? I've been in this too long. I need to change. I need a dramatic change. And it doesn't mean you're permanently shutting something down, but you walk away from something and start something new. It's the starting of something new is that I'm really pulling into. Kind of like, I don't know why I have these weird analogies, but for example, if you were in a snowmo snowmobiling club for years, and you're like, you know what, I need a break from this. These people, I'm just tired of it. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to start this dart club. Dart? Why not? Why not? You know, I'm going to start being a part of that whole different set of people you're not you're not completely dismissing that last group you're just taking a break from it but you're getting involved this is the part you're getting involved in a whole new group with a whole bunch of new people like a fresh a fresh connection with new people it's fresh to you it's fresh because that's what i feel like this is starting off at like i need new people i need a new group of people i need a new group of something so you're walking away from one thing some of you are walking away permanently. Other way, other people are putting it on pause, but you're adding into something new. Now, when you add into this, there's a lot already going on there. Whatever it is, there's a lot of fun. It's a lot of joy. You're like, in this, and when I say fun and joy, you see a lot happening. So it might be literally a work situation that takes a lot of effort, but to you, that's fun. Like, I want to be actively involved. I want to actively do something. So this works. I see a lot of success here, victory, action. Victory and action are right here. You're going right into it. There's a lot already here. For you to find where you fit, though, is going to take a minute. So whatever it is you're connecting to, like I'm getting into this new group of people, whatever, work, recreation, business, family, could be you're dating somebody new. I don't I don't know how many of that how many of you that's gonna really hit for, but whatever. It's a general read. Take it where you need to take it. Um it's gonna take you a minute to really feel out where you actually productively fit in a good way. But it will happen. It takes a minute to like, wait a minute, do I fit here? Do I fit here? How what part of this situation works for me? Oh my gosh. I told you the dog would bark sooner or later. <laughs> He's already had it with me. Um the Garden of the Gate, the Door to Spirit, and the Sacral Chakra, which is the third third chakra, the Yellow Chakra. As you get deeper into this, you got the Pentacle coming in, leading into the uh, Wand. So the Fire or the Earth leading into the Fire. You got the Knight of Pentacles going into the Queen of Wands. Don't get caught up in the gender of any of these cards, but basically what it's saying is like, 
as you get farther into it, you're going to slowly, I feel like you're slowly getting your feet wet to start with. Maybe the first two to three, I want to say weeks is more realistic, but I'm getting the word months. I guess it depends on who you are and what you're doing. Months or weeks, it's two to three, I want to say months, but weeks seems more realistic. Could be two to three months. You're understanding, you're seeing a, enough here to like, oh, you know what? I do this well. I match up here well, so let me grab onto that and start doing that. I keep wanting to say months, but take it take it however you want to take it. Um, once you start fitting in, though, and you're like, I fit here. This works for me. I do this well. You find something that you do very well. It just seems to be naturally for you to click in with. As you do that, I'm getting the door opens, and you start to feel more solid, and you that's the sacral chakra. You're starting to feel like, all right, this is where I belong. This is how I fit here. This is where I can start making my mark and you know solidifying like this is my spot and now I can fit in with this group a lot better. I've proven my worth here. I've proven like this is what I do well. Other people, they got the, that's the throat chakra? Yep. The fifth chakra, the blue chakra, the throat chakra. People are talking about what you're doing amongst themselves. I feel like this is other people talking about you in a positive way. People talk about people, it happens. I mean, I feel like we're all in reality, like we all know that happens. It's just if it's going in a positive or negative way, let's be honest. Like, it happens. People talk about people. It just does. I think it's foolish to think it doesn't. Um, and I'm getting, like, uh, the number 33 pops re really strong. 33 is popping extremely strong. Whatever that means for somebody. It just, poof, it pushed right through really strong. I'm getting, like, there's the 33... It's really strong. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about it, but it just keeps hitting me. 33, 33, 33. Um, people are, like, seeing your value. Like, I'm getting a team player attitude with that, too, but I don't know where that 33 belongs. I'll be honest with you. It's just, it's hitting really hard, though. Um, people are lo loving you. They think you're great. You're perfect. You are very productive. You fit in here great. You're actually one of those people that, like... You add to the team, you add to the value of the situation. Whatever it is, you add to it in a great way. People really like it. Okay, that's cool. Four of Wands, Adjacent Possibilities, and Blossoming Abundance. Whatever the situation is, you're going to have more of a control. When you find out where, when you find the spot that you fit in and you do really well, because there's something here you do extremely well. And you excel in it. And you really, at first you're doing good, but then you really excel. It's like, I don't know how to explain this. It's like, I don't I feel like it's kind of like you start off making cakes. I do baking analogies all the time, I know. Um, and you're just making really good party cakes. But then all of a sudden, like, you're making, like, grand wedding cakes. You're like, you, you go from good to awesome. Like, you go from great to freaking even better. Even better. Okay, even better. With the butter. Whatever. I don't know where that's coming from, but there you go. Uh, Linda Richmond from SNL. That must be where that's coming from. I don't know why. Here we go. <laughs> um, that's cracking me up. You're doing, you're excelling. The blossoming abundance, more possibilities come your way and you are solidifying. Is this the adjacent possibilities? Yes. It's going to something, this group you got a part of, whatever it is, you start doing good and you're like, hey, I'm doing really good. And then it just goes way beyond that. You excel way beyond that. Um, you got the King of Rods with the Ace of Cups. You are loving it. I feel like that's one of the things. Like not only you're excelling, but you're liking it so much, and you're finding new things. Like, oh, I love how I do this. I love doing that. How else can you do this? Let me research. How else can you do that? What else can you add in here? What else can you do with this? You get really rapidly excited about it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Don't get caught up in the gender. Man holding a heart with the ace of Pentac or ace of cups with the knight of rods. Nope, it's the it's not the knight, is it? It's the king of rods. You're owning this and loving this, and you're making it. You're going way beyond, way beyond what's expected, even for you. You're just like, you're rabidly excited about this. Like you just can't get enough. Um, the seventh chakra is the crown chakra. You're somebody else is going to be left behind. And they see it coming. 
whatever's taking hold here for you, somebody's getting left behind. I just don't see another way around it. Um, somebody who values you greatly, they see a lot of value in you. They want to work with you to try to keep you in their life. But the Three of Swords is saying whatever's going on here with you, your, your energy is going over somewhere else. You have a very strong passion pulling you somewhere else. Somebody's being left behind. I'm, I can't get around it. Um, and I'm getting like, there's no bad energy between you and this person. It's definitely a person centered though. Like I'm feeling like there's really good energy between you and this person with the appreciation, but they want you to come more towards them. And I feel like this in the beginning, I think I talked about this. Like they want you to kind of back off with that and come more towards them. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, and you communicate with them and I feel like you keep things going with this person. It's either they're going to fall off, they're either going to fall off or they're, it's like, if you were seeing them seven to eight times a week, seven to, seven to eight times a week, really? I don't know. Like you were seeing them more than once a day, every now and then, I guess, whatever that means. It's now going back to like two to three times. Seven to eight times a week. That just that's kind of weird, isn't it? So I guess if you see somebody in the morning and then later at night, that would make sense. Either way, it's going from like if you were seeing them every day, you're only seeing them every two to three days. That's how this is. It's either diminishing greatly, or they could be kind of fading away from your life. Um, this big change is working to your advantage. This is something you need to do. It's not meant as anything negative for this person. It's not. They just love you and they want to keep you around and they'd like to see you more. I'm getting though that you have to follow your heart. This is something you're good at. This is something you're supposed to be good at. So you've got to kind of, at the very least, if you don't want this person to disappear, I feel like you just got to be aware of it and just kind of like cement something in that happens two to three times a week where you keep this person around you and you keep connected with them. You'll have to actively keep it connected and remind them that you do want to keep connected with them. Otherwise, I feel like there's a good chance this other person might fade away. And there's no negativity between you and them. It's just you're very busy getting something else going and you're very excited about it. And that's a good energy. That's something you should be doing. So the, and this other person might just kind of be like, oh, you're doing that. You don't have time for me. And they might just kind of fade away. Keep them connected. Actively keep them in your life. Even if it's like from seeing them seven times a week, seven to eight if you're going to be me, seven times a week down to every two to three days, that's still keeping them connected enough to where you give them the impression like, no, I want you in my life. I have a lot going on, so I don't have as much time, but I want to keep you here. And I feel like I answered whatever I needed to answer with that. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.